Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and this is the training video for lure fishing in Fishing Resort for the Nintendo Wii. Okay, first thing to do with lures is to know the basic techniques. Techniques can be easily practiced from the bait shop, where you just hit button 2 to go for the testing pool. Alright, so let's do our first cast. And we will turn on the appeal and the route. Okay, the very first maneuver in lure fishing is just nothing. You do not move the rod, you do not reel, and just let the lure do its thing. In this case, with the cream plane minnow, it's just a basic descent. The second type of maneuver is the jig. What you do is thrust the weemie mote firmly upwards. You can do it several times. The inexperienced lure fisherman will not have absolute control of the Wiimote, so that when they thrust the Wiimote up, they accidentally twist it to the left or to the right, or there is a slight diagonal motion upwards, such as to their right shoulder or to the left shoulder. Very subtle, but the Wiimote, even without the Wii Motion Plus, will rec register it. This will create the sideways jig, which may be unintentional or unwanted, depending on your fishing styles. The final basic maneuver for the lure is the reel. You just crank the bait. Now, as I have been jigging, resting, and reeling, the appeal, which is this little red sphere, is the area of attraction to fish. So when it's big, you know, it's a wider area for fish to see the lure and go towards it. And with a little experimentation, you can see how and what are the best techniques to have the largest appeal. So for example, here in the cream plains, just basic descent has a small appeal. Jig increases it, reeling increasing it, but well, let's try super fast reel. It stays and remains. Now let's try switching over to a different type of lure. Let's try a crankbait. Now here, in dress, the crankbait naturally floats. And I can't really, jigging it doesn't do much because it's already at the surface. Well, let's crank it. Uh, we have a larger appeal. And we can kind of jig it upwards. But that seems to be detrimental. Let's crank it really fast and see what happens. Ah, small appeal. Can we jig it down? And let's try another type. Let's see. Let's do a. Let's see, we did the minnow. Let's do a swimmer. Let's do a spinner. So we have a small appeal when it's descending, and it descends very fast compared to the cream planes or the. And a jig makes it rather large. Let's see. Cranking it makes it small. So, when you purchase a lure or you decide to sign up for a particular type of lure in our research project, play around with it in the pool to see how to get the most appeal from your lure. Now let's move onwards towards the actual lure fishing. So our demonstration location is the rapids in the Caracol River. As you can see, lots of fish in the stream. And our tackle will be the medium rod, small medium reel, and the green-red oriental spinner. Practically all the fish in the Caracol River love this tackle. So, the biggest problem the initial 
lure fisherman has is getting a feel for the bites. So for this first cast, all I'm going to say is buzz when the fish bites and jig when it actually jig the reel. The, there we go, it's descending. Now let's see, jig, and hit buzz, 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 buzz. Now as you notice, the very first bite was, I believe, an invisible fish, or a random one. There's no fish in the water, but the spinner attracted or created one. Alright, so jig. Jig. And come on. Okay. But as you saw, the fish here really like the Oriental Spinner. To overcome the problem with biting is that you need proper and firm control of the Wiimote. Do not waggle. When you have a bite, and they will bite if they really like the lure, just thrust it up once and hold. Let's see. Come on, little fishy. There we go. When you lure fish, you do not have to worry about timing as with bait. Every single bite with a lure is excellent. What happens to the inexperienced lure fishermen is that when they thrust the Wiimote up, instead of doing a jig, they do a side motion. So the lure moves to the side and the fish follows it. In a panic, the fisherman tries doing up again and moves again sideways. And so the fish chases it, you know, it goes every which way and eventually gets tired and goes away. Ah. So let's me demonstrate improper jig technique for at least hooking the fish. What you're supposed to do is up once, and that's it. But most people they go inadvertently this way and then say, oh no, and then they try to do up. And nothing's happened. They just waggle, and then they go up, and they jig, and then they go left, and then they go right, and maybe right again, and up. And the fish gets tired. They go away, and they say, "To heck with lure fishing. I'm just going to do regular bait." But the best way to do it is to practice it, and to practice with something that works. As demonstrated here, the red green oriental at the Caracol River is very nice. Another good example to practice would be the red goblin toy with large fish that you can see. So any type of pike, any type of alligator gar or their arowanas and such. Big fish love the red green goblin toy. So try it out and you'll be delightfully surprised. Alright. Now that we fully demonstrated good no that fish like a lure let me try some experimentation no just seeing what other type of lures and fish would be here and jeez get out of the rock Let's pick up a float. Let's see. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Can't you? Okay, I don't think anyone goes for you. Now, as shown before, crankbait works very differently in that it only goes down and has the aperture. over there. Okay, there's a fish there, doing gentle reels. Aperture is very large for the crankbait, as shown before. Nothing's biting. Okay. 
Actually, I've done this several times before in prior recording, but just for the and the thing of time. But let's try let's see. lightning silver. I believe this is also another one that several small fish are attracted to at times. There we go, we got a bite. The only problems possibly arising with lure fishing are the legendaries. Um, because, or legendaries are just a rare fish, because I'm pretty sure that although there may be lures that attract legendaries, they may also attract other fish. So as you can see, when you're investigating lures, they're either effective or they're not. So, underneath this video is a link to the thread in GameFAQs that is going to be the whole lure fishing investigation project. If you would like to help out, just go visit it, sign up, and get cracking. So, until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya!